Hello everyone and welcome back to Endzone. Last time we finished the tutorials and this time we will start our first scenario. This time around I don't think I will cut, uh, cut anything out uh, from uh, the game because I don't know how many downtimes we will have. If there will be a lot of uh, doing nothing just waiting for resources you can quick end the video or skip ahead. But I want to get a feel how the real scenarios uh, work before I start uh, cutting out things. Okay, now let's uh, start with the bet. You let yourself get talked into a daring wager with uh, Arthur uh, So Sochin, your old friend and mentor. In the course of a cozy evening at the local pub, you betted on uh, who can get their hands on the most uh, species of plants in the form of seeds from unexplored ruins. Ah, so that's the way we can gather more uh, plants. The next day the two of you set off to start up new outposts each uh, with a troop of settlers and some supplies. The race begins. Gather a small number of different seeds. Enlarge your collection of seeds. Oh, these are just metals. Okay, I thought these are the goals. Okay, let's see how, how can we do this. To be honest, I played the tutorials like a week ago and I hope I remember everything that we need. Say there, youngster, did I wake you up? We found a fitting site and we're in the process of setting everything up. I thought I'd give you a little head start to make things more interesting. Since I'm dead sure of what I'm doing, I'm going to just put my feet up for a moment and read a bit. Until you've, let's say, found the first four seeds. Until then, I won't even start to believe that you've got it in you to be serious competition for me. Okay, now that's an easy thing because we can uh, do the expedition and uh, the expedition center or, or what is it and uh, stack it with a lot of things and then we can start uh, go around uh, then we can start a lot of expeditions and when we are in the role Oh, we need to find one more seed. Okay, now... I think we have to gather enough resources so we can uh, send out three expeditions in the same time. Oh, it's a tank. Wow. I didn't expect to see that. So the train station is not an interesting location. Okay, so first we will need water. How many settlers we have? Ten. Okay, we need to build some uh, breathing chambers as well. Okay. Also, we have to plan ahead uh, our settlement. Hmm. Maybe we can leave this forested area and we can clear everything here. So we can build our houses next to this mountain side, to this river or river pond. Okay. Let's gather wood and let's get our scrap. Oh, and I have to assign some uh, builders. And I have to remember how to do that. 
Education, Game Log, Survival Guide, Population Growth. Ah. Yes, Rebuilders. Can I see how much water we have? Yeah, we have 600. I have a really big urge to build the jetty here, so it's closer uh, to us. But still we have to build a water tower. Yeah, we can put our water supply here because there's another lake. Okay. Oh, we can build it here. Okay, let's go. Those are the kids. Yeah, those are the kids. Wow. They are collecting wood real quickly. Okay, and then we need a water tower. But we cannot build a water tower. Only a cistern. Because water tower needs plastic and coal. Well, not... The, yeah, that's the construction cost. So let's put... Just a cistern here for now. Okay, now we need food. Let's start with fishing, like in the tutorial. Why not? at least one cabin so we can start produce more uh, people and we cannot okay we don't need workers here we need workers for the system We have hens here and a rooster. Okay. Let's collect water and catch some fish.
And let's move this here. And maybe I can put a, a woodcutter here. Okay, I think we have some food, some water. Now we need resources. And the first order of business would be a scrapyard so we can clear these. And of course they won't like that we have a scrapyard next to the house. So let's put it here. At some distance from the house. Oh, the children are growing up. I think we should build another cabin. one and here we are clearing the forest okay radiation protection gear as well these trees okay they are clearing up the scrap and I think we have still have enough wood I think we can start clothing Yeah, I think we can uh, gather wood like this for a while. What we need is the recycler. To start producing cloth. So we can build a shelter and 
we can uh, start producing protected gear. Well, let's build another house. Okay, great. Now we can build a uh, forester or woodcutter. It does the. It, it will do both things. And yes, we want cloth. Oh, the water is contaminated. And the food source is contami contaminated as well. Okay. There are some purifiers. Yeah, we will need a water tower with filtration system. Mm. What's that? Oh, okay, that's not the auto save. All right. Tablets are produced at the medical facility and administered to prevent outbreak of disease. In addition, such as her sick come here for treatment. Water is not to be filled with water and also, uh, okay, that's. Okay. Which produces decontamination kits and supplies them to the appropriate buildings. There are used there to free store resources from contamination due to radiation. Okay, that's what we need, but we need a coal for that. Basically, we need a lot of people, we need bodies. And to have more. people we need more houses and we need a forester's lodge too Recycler. So we can start recycle plastic. And we need other food sources as well. Okay, we, we, we had uh, one more children.
do some plastic, please. And when this is up, oh, that's quite a long route. Damn it. Maybe I shouldn't put that there. Well, this would be also a long one. And I need the space. Here for other buildings. You are also dumb, not okay. We need we need a road. We need a road for that. Where's the road? Dirt road. That's it. So wait a minute. We can no, we cannot. Okay. So maybe when the road is completed, you don't have any scrap. Okay. Then clear things here. Okay, and now we need we have plastic. We can upgrade it to water tower, but we need uh, some uh, coal. some roads down Some idiot is still moving around that way. Okay. We have enough water. That's not the problem. The problem that the water is contaminated. And people will get sick. That's it. Finish that road. Okay, now we have coal. What? What's happening with the coal we produce? You know what? I think if I start the upgrade, 
then they will bring the coal here eventually. And now we need Taylor Workshop Taylor Shop. Okay, but now the water is suddenly become clean. So that's that's nice. Okay, what to do next? What's that? Medication. Yeah, we have to gather herbs from the forest. And maybe some food stuff as well. And we would need other source of food. Well, we have resources, so... Let's try with the carbon mask. Well, I think we are good with scarves for the time being. We have one unassigned workforce. So let's gather some uh, herbs. Zero point seventeen season the production time. So in one season we can produce what six? Maybe six. So that's twelve plus. That's not much. Okay, so we gather a little bit, uh, plot a little bit faster than we use for next scarves. But we can't see the production speed.
Ah, we can see how much we used last season and two seasons ago. And we need to build a shelter. Well, I don't care about that. I think I leave some room for decorations here. Cabin is good for how many settlers? For two, I believe. Okay, we have more children now. Oh, and those banners uh, show us when they grow up. Okay, now. We can have some herbs. Okay, this scrapyard is still producing. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. The next thing uh, we have to do is to produce more variety of food, but we also need tools. So we need another... Scrapyard? Oh, no, not a scrapyard. A recycler. And I want to build a shelter. And the shelter needs 10 cloth. Of course, I don't have to wait for to have 10. I just can start building and they will bring the resources there. So let's put down a shelter there. Oh, it costs uh, food. Okay. I didn't realize that. Well, I think they... They will remove those trees if we build something there. Yeah, I might have made a mistake with those hedges.
Okay, soon everybody has a roof over their head. And... We move there. So should do a well. Oh yeah, no food uh, during this season. Damn it. And we have no people. Okay, what should we... Let's stop that. And how have one people doing uh, or, or uh, man the well? Yeah, the tutorial looked way too easy. Yeah, we need much, much, much more water reserves. So let's... Uh, build another cistern. Let's build it here. And we build another jet there. And... We can have some fields here and we can uh, water them from this cistern and later uh, uh, from a water tower. There are no herbs right now. And we need... Yeah, a jetty there. Yeah, there will be some thirst. Okay, the water is returning. Yeah, and we need we need more food so let's put down a gathering uh, cabin
cannot gather anything. Should be seeing stuff like with the herbs. Okay. Now let's cultivate some fields instead. Yeah, the rain catchers would be a good idea. Because those can uh, improve our water supply without any workers. Let's assign more workers here so they can collect water more efficiently or, or quickly. Oh, they like the life here at least. And I think we could do a, hon a hunting. Hunting lodge, not haunting, hunting. Uh, lodge here. Or people are getting hungry. I think we should focus on gathering more food. What do you think, chief? Okay. We produce building built in the category food okay so that's why we need a hunter and we need a lot of other stuff we need uh, tools because we have run out of tools we need a workshop right there We are knocked ourselves out just as you instructed, Chief. We work day and night and we are able to collect a large quality of food. Thanks, Chief. Let's hunt and I would like to put a person back there. Okay, the water is back to normal or was back to normal Sector hasn't received any badge yet
yeah we have have the workshop now no we don't have the workshop now we are still constructing it but there's not enough people let's do metal tools Okay, this thing is starting to falling apart, I feel. So what we really need is, is rain catchers. We need plastic for that, but we have plastic, so... Just put it there. So that can pump up our water reserves quite a bit. Maybe... Maybe I put down another one right away. Professionals are complaining about the lack of tools. Maybe we ought to build a workshop table to end. Oh, but we already have a workshop. I already have a workshop and it is already producing tools. And this should be also upgraded. To a water tower. Okay, now we're just harvesting this stuff. It's still not enough. Okay, that's... That's bad. Yeah, it doesn't matter that it's... Oh! I see. So they are. We cannot put this water into. All right. I thought we can put that water into the water tower and that will filter it, but that's not the case. Well, we have a lot of uh, herbs, or, or do we? Yeah, we have a lot of herbs, so we will cure radiation that way. But contaminated rain is not that uh, uh, we don't have we don't get it that often. there come on build that tools you can do it Okay, what's with the weather station? Oh, we have to research that. I think we will need a medical facility sooner or later. Yeah. We need a lot of stuff for that. Uh, 
and the food problem is still not solved. Okay, I think we... Can we build... Uh, Yeah, the scrap center. Uh, the scrap, uh, scrap catcher. Okay, that's refinery. Okay, we need this one, but we have to research that. So, we will need uh, a research center research station let's put it here and I think we need roads we can work in an efficient way. We need someone to man this thing. I think I put down some trees. Some pecan trees. And I think we can put more workers on the fields. I hope that helps. More workers here. Yeah, we have we have a serious food problem. No siege chosen. We should be cultivating some more fields. Choose beans. Okay, let's hunt here. We still cannot solve the food problem. I think we should build a pasture here. Okay, we're getting food, but not enough. And we assigned everybody for food production. That means we just have to assign more and more people for food and for water. How about we doing scrap tools and you will produce plastic as well.
Oh, we need metal tools for this to build up. Damn it. Okay, so the beans are not the best crops. Okay, because the sugar beet has a higher yield. So we will keep one pasture of beans for the food variety. But why don't we have more food? We have fish. We have a hunting lodge. Now we have a pasture, so let's uh, capture some animals. And we don't have enough water as well. And we are facing a drought. Okay, so now we see the water consumption. Okay, I I feel a restart in our near future. Yeah, they are they are dying from hunger. Yeah. Well, they achieve. There are more and more of a surplus that if our population uh, figures continues to rise so rapidly, we might uh, lead to supply bottlenecks. You can control the population growth, a bit of housing, more settlers in shelters, or via forum by prohibiting the settlers from reproducing. Oh, okay. It's up to you. Okay, okay. So we can... Uh, what? Not demolish. We can stop. No, we cannot stop. Well, maybe we can, we can demolish the buildings. Yeah, but we will starve to death. Soon, so... I think uh, this game is a bit harder than uh, than the tutorial uh, showed us, which is a, a good thing because the tutorial wasn't a challenge at all. Okay, I think in the next episode uh, I will restart this scenario and now I know what we are up against. And this uh, one thing for food is just not cut it out. My my real beef with this game, I cannot see the production consumption rates. Sure, we have uh, 
this thing here. But I can only see what we can... Oh! This is the turnover. Okay, so if I see this is positive number, maybe, then that means we are producing... But I cannot see... Yeah, I see only that the people consume. I cannot see, for example, uh, the wood. The wood production. And this is nice, I guess. Look at this, but uh, I... to be perfectly honest with you, I don't really like uh, like graphs. I I would like to see pure data. Like uh, how many wood we will produce in this season and how much we are consuming. Like uh, other buildings, how much they consume and... Well, I guess we can... Uh, we can make the math. So this building consumes 40 woods per season. But I don't know how much this produces. That's the, that's my problem. I don't know how much this building produces. Per season. I'm missing that information. And that's what makes this game uh, harder than it should be, I think. But, uh, it's I think... It's, I don't know if it's that hard as uh, Frostpunk. Frostpunk is just mean. This is not, uh, this game is not that mean. In terms of what you can do with your people. Okay, uh, obviously I have to figure things out for this one. Anyways, uh, if you like uh, what you see here, please consider to give the video a like uh, if you would want to subscribe. And thanks for watching. I see you in the next one. Bye.